Hi all, a very belated uh, video from me. I meant to do one a few weeks ago, but I never got to it at all. You can see I've got extremely short hair. The reason is I fucked up. I fucked up big time. I did the one thing that I knew with the clippers I shouldn't do, and I took it higher than the occipital blown. Okay? So anybody who clippers their own hair, don't go too high. I ended up with a line round, which looked like a friggin' mushroom. So I bore that out for about two or three days because obviously the top was still slightly longer than this. Not much, but a little bit. And then I thought today, this is ridiculous. I have to get rid of this line. Um, I don't care if my hair's cropped off. I don't, it's not something that worries me too much. But it, it worries me when you can see it's a bad haircut. If it's just a cropped haircut, no problems at all. <laughs> In fact, I think I've got the face to carry it off. I've got the face to carry a lot of things off, but uh, certainly not long hair. And to be honest with you, every time I try and grow my hair or I have and any stress in my life becomes too much, those clippers come out. I've tried so many times. As you guys know, I grew it all one length down to about there. Well, it wasn't quite love one length, but but even then, it, it soon started to break. I was faffing about with it, dyeing it, bleaching it. It all got too much. Then I had three weeks where I was looking after dad. I was very stressed anyway. I've got the most painful sciatica. And I realised that when I'm in pain or when I'm stressed, <laughs> That's another thing. I'm very OCD and the OCD gets worse and the behaviours like cutting hair or bleaching it or whatever it is come back. So they came back with big time, but I did fuck the haircut up. Otherwise it had been about, mm, give me another half an inch or so on it. <laughs> but this brings me on to another topic and that is the number of things we enjoy doing to alter our appearance. Um, a lot of people wear wigs nowadays, head pe hair pieces. I love hats. Um, it's bloody 26 degrees here. I mean, it's still very muggy. So it's too hot to do anything like, you know, to enjoy the pleasures of having different hats on. But I did have a, a little one on for a couple of days and uh, I went to my friend's party yesterday and someone said, what the bloody hell have you done to your hair? And I said, oh, <laughs> it was an accident. And yes, I'm going to get the line out. But when I, I'm not sure. Anyway, we had a good old laugh about it because truly it's not the end of the world. Uh, it used to be. It used to be for me. But it brings me on to the topic of the special effects that you can have online now to make yourself look younger or perhaps just a bit slimmer or and I think I've talked about this before if you go down that route it's great fun just for a bit of fun to send to your mates but if you're doing it because you think that somebody online is going to think oh god she's beautiful um isn't she beautiful and yet in reality you don't look like that. Or, I mean, I could put a mane of hair on. I could do all sorts of things. Well, that's if I knew how to use the app, <laughs> which I do not. I have never, ever, ever used a special effect um, because I don't know how to use them. My friends have done it and helped me with that, but well, just as a laugh, but I just don't know how to do it. And I don't feel the need to do it because I'm comfy in my own skin. But it's taken a long time to get this way. What I'm not comfortable about in my own skin, which I'm going on to the next topic, is I have a scan on my neck in a week's time. And at the moment, I have the sciatica from hell. So um, TPG, who's a friend of mine, has been going through this. And I can so relate to him, and this is Trailer Park Guy, if anyone wants to click on and watch his channels, go there. But one of the things I'll say, I can totally relate to what he's saying. It hurts so bad. 
in both hips it can go into. It can make my, the other day my leg went from underneath me. I've had all these problems before, years ago, and I had an operation on my back and he said, you should be good to go for 10 years. Well, it's four years later and I feel awful. But there you go, it, well, it's nothing you can do about it. You've just got to try and smile, take your painkillers. And uh, it's part of aging, I'm afraid, or it can happen in that way. Yesterday, when I went to my friend's tea party, I got drunk. I can't remember the last time I got drunk. But what I got drunk on was something called Thatcher's Orange Cider. Now, it didn't really, I didn't, I, I love that, the taste of it. I'd had a few sips before. In fact, I think I'd had a can before. Really thought it was lovely. I was aware it was a bit high in the calorie department. And I do a lot of things to try and not put on weight, just because it's not good to put on weight, especially when I'm probably up the upper limits that I should be. But in fact, I'm probably a stone and a bit above the upper limits. But it doesn't matter. I'm comfortable. It doesn't bother me about my weight. The problem is it, it's going to make more pressure on the spine. So anyway, I got drunk. After the event of getting drunk, and I was with two other ladies, we had a ball, we uh, had nibbles, anti-pasties, little bits of chicken and sausages, and it was great fun, and we had such a giggle. And at the end, we had strawberries, meringues, and cream. Well, delicious, absolutely delicious. The thing is, it was at that point, I don't know what it was, but all three of us, was sort of looking at the back of the can and we were trying to work out how many calories in a can. We didn't have to sit there and work it out. We could just Google it. So I Googled it, Googled it and found out there was three, no, 230 calories per can and I drunk three of them. Oh, what a munchkin I am. So I nearly had 700 calories, this is what I'm saying. What a friggin' waste of calories. I could have had half a bottle of vodka for that and Slimline Lemonade. I could have had uh, Pims, I think, and Slimline Lemonade. What was I thinking? Well, I clearly wasn't, but I so enjoyed it, you know, I so enjoyed it. And I got up from the table going, oh, I don't even feel that drunk. The air hit me, it was warm, it was muggy and I sort of fell out the door. But I did have so much pain from the sciatica, or not that I could feel. So it was a wonderful time had by all. I hope all my people who watch me uh, enjoy, are enjoying the, my channel. When I bloody well put up uh, videos, I'll try and do more in the future, I promise. I love you. Please could you share, and please can you put me out there into the YouTube world so I can get a few more numbers. I might even do a live stream one day. Hey, what the hell? Anything's possible. Take care. Bye.